Although Roma are the largest ethnic minority in Europe, they still experience high level of racism and have to deal with many societal issues. Additionally, Roma are being represented in a very stereotypical way in the media and art world. The Roma theater has more than a century long past which, with active first professional theater groups in many European countries, but unfortunately they are hardly known. The Roma Heroes Theater Festival, initiated by the Independent Theater Hungary, is the only international Roma theater encounter in the world, which have been organized in every year since 2017. Some of the present artists and their work are introduced in our series. And today, my guest is Sebastiano Spinella, the performer and writer of the play called The Children on the Wind, and Ursula Mainardi, the co-writer. Welcome. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. How are you? Fine. It's still summer. <laughs> yes, it's hot here. <laughs> yes, I really like the background. It's super nice. So We are in the countryside in the middle of Italy. Nice, nice. Okay, so my question would go basically to, to, to both of you. Um, could you please summarize very briefly what the play is about? How did the idea come? What inspired you when you were writing it? Okay. Um, yeah, the play is uh, about my personal experience during my life, about uh, theater, my experience to theater, how I became a professional theater uh, performer, and uh, how this uh, profession actually led me to work later on in my life uh, with the uh, uh, Roma community, with youth from Roma community, um, especially a little Roma community uh, that lives in the suburb of uh, Rome, the capital city, uh, in, a, in a legal settlement, we call it so even if it's not so legal, and um, my experience during this work with the community and with the youth of uh, the Roma community. And uh, what inspired me? Well, the inspiration came uh, especially from the leaders of the uh, independent theater Hungary, in part, and the uh, greatest part was from this lady here, uh, Ursula Mainardi, uh, that uh, uh, pushed me actually and helped me to write down the, the, the performance. Because you see, I, my uh, uh, main uh, speciality in theater for many, many years has been uh, related to clowning, miming, music, a lot, I'm a musician, and especially, um, uh, let's say, uh, uh, physical theater, physical language. So I was not so used to text. And uh, in this uh, was a great help uh, Ursula because uh, she is a storyteller, you see. And so she pushed me and helped me into writing, into writing the story. The other uh, part was uh, Rodrigo especially and Martin from uh, the Independent Theater in Hungary. Because you see, <clears throat> I am not uh, uh, born in a, uh, in a Roma family in the typical way, let's say. I am uh, born in a normal, uh, normal, uh, normal society in, uh, in Italy, in Sicily. And uh, my family, they doesn't really know well, now they know because of me, but uh, till uh, till a certain point, they avoid 
to to tell or to recognize their Roma uh, uh, roots, their Roma origins. How I found out was through my grandmother. My grandmother told me this, or let me understood that we had Roma, that we have Roma roots, Roma origins. Uh, and so I kind of choose later on in my life uh, to to recognize and to and to deal with uh, with this you see so when uh, independent theater contacted me i told them that i could not really uh, um, i could not really speak as a as a, a roma citizen but after they i told them my story they recognized me as a roma and they and they pushed me into telling the story because uh, as me there are many many uh, people in the world that also are of second third fourth fifth generation roma but this memory has gone lost uh, you see the Roma people, uh, the Roma community came to Italy in the 13, 1400. So it's about 600 years ago. And we have many communities in Rome, or in, in Italy, all over Italy, actually. And uh, also one uh, thing that convinced me in the end was that my, my family name, Spinelli, Spinella, is a, is a common name uh, through the the Roma community in Italy, yeah. So this was my my input to work on this, and uh, Ursula okay. Ursula she got uh, she got uh, uh, charmed by my grandmother's story, <laughs> and so she decided to help me. Yes, that's true. Uh, when he told me about this uh, special meeting with uh, his grandmother when uh, he was a child, uh, it, it was very touching for me uh, because I was already uh, working with uh, Roma children and uh, they are also very uh, devoted to their grandmothers and uh, grandfathers. And so I, I found in this uh, relationship something very interesting and uh, deep. And this is the beginning of the story. Uh, that's, uh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have a favorite part in the play, which is like very close to you or because it's like very challenging or, uh, yes? Yes, uh, uh, like I was saying, the, the first part about this meeting uh, is one of my favorites uh, and it's really the heart of the story, I think, uh, the golden art of the story, uh, the meeting with the, with the grandmother. And um, the other part is uh, um, how uh, the children are taken in the camp and accompagnati, come si dice? They're followed. Followed um, to the um, uh, laboratory. To, to make music uh, and to, to be together uh, for uh, their identity in a group. Because you see, uh, the, we, beside this theater work, we do, we do work with the uh, Roma youth. We, we teach uh, theater and we teach music. Yeah, so this is our relation to the to the Roma youth. Well, I like all the all the play. It's uh, substantially. It's about my life, and uh, yeah, 
somehow I, I, it also helped me writing the story about to how to recognize myself and uh, and uh, kind kind of synthesize what I've been doing in my life and where I'm going to. Thank you. Can you also share a few sentences? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Accident. <laughs> so can you, you have a cat? No, no, no. It was just, you know, like, I don't know, something fell off the, the shelf. So it's okay. So could you please share some sentences about your artwork? What are your principal principles when you are creating art what are the the, the the important points when what that you are always paying attention to or keeping in mind when you are creating art i think you should answer mm -hmm. about storytelling i can say something it's about making art yeah. no storytelling is also of course yeah um, I think uh, what it's important is uh, for me is uh, that um, art in general and theater and storytelling um, permit to uh, to have a real process inside uh, on one side and. Um, maybe if it's, it's a good work uh, to have a process with the people uh, who are uh, there in presence uh, and receive uh, your art uh, that's the most important thing for me um, i don't know why you want to do the code okay for me for me, uh, you see, uh, the first 10 years of my profession, I mainly worked in the street. So I had uh, my public was the people of the street. And uh, this was the best school for me because in the street, people doesn't have to pay a ticket. They don't have to stop if they don't want. They choose to, to stop and to be there because they like you or because they like what you're doing. So I had experience uh, of uh, the magic of this gathering of people. When, uh, when people gathers in a circle around you and you are leading a kind of ritual where people comes, laughs, uh, experience, exchange your poetry and they take home when they go home with the impression you have left in them so in this i recognize the 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 strength and the power of theater and music too because music is part of theater and uh, later on the next 10 years i work <clears throat> In the in institutional theater, it means uh, I was in the street. Some big uh, director saw me working in the street. They think I'm good, and they take me into the institutional theater. And for many years, I was there working, and I realized that there was a lot of theater that was only done for entertainment, without any real depth without any real uh, 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 educative uh, purpose, rather than just entertain. Where I think that uh, theater has a power and it's, it's, it is about uh, 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 giving people a different uh, point of view on life and to spread uh, knowledge and consciousness. Mm. And so when we work, when we work uh, 
we often work together with Ursula. When we work at our performances, we always take care that uh, 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 truth and knowledge and consciousness are blended and are part, are the heart, the soul of the work we propose. Thank you. You mentioned already many very interesting things about Roma identity and the this, this struggle of, um, of recognizing or also admitting uh, the identity. I would ask you just shortly, what do you think about uh, what are other societal issues that affect Roma? than in Italy and also what do you think about the representation of Roma in media or in the artwork in theater or or uh, in in art in general eh, qual è mm. la situazione dei Rom in Italia mm. è, è... okay um, you see here in Italy we have uh, 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 a very singular situation uh, around the Roma, the Roma community. You see, there are the Italian Roma, which are mostly Sinti of Sinti uh, uh, roots, Sinti origins. They are spread a little bit all over uh, Italy, and. Uh, Many, much of it is, uh, it's been absorbed in the main society, but uh, much of it is also keeping a, a strong identity. You see, there are circus people and they also, uh, they, they do uh, markets. They also do uh, ferries all around the, the, the country. Uh, I, I would say that uh, they are in the absorption, uh, they are absorbed in the, in the, in the society and uh, they don't live so big struggles as uh, other Roma communities. Uh, they are, the other Roma communities we have here, it's uh, um, immigrants from, especially from the Balkan from Serbia and uh, uh, former Yugoslavia and so on, uh, Romania also. And um, uh, they, they live a very difficult situation as they were rejected from the start because of their different ways. They, they uh, most of them, they live in shags and favelas built uh, around uh, the suburb of the cities. Then uh, later on in the 90s, uh, the government has taken, uh, uh, has taken uh, uh, action on them by building uh, what they call legal camps which uh, are actually uh, slums uh, where uh, the Roma people are confined with very little access to uh, school, uh, sanitary and social uh, help. Yeah, uh, because of the high degree of uh, um, school, it's a quite low, uh, low education, a lot of poverty, so they are, have difficulties into getting into the work market and also in schools they are uh, kind of uh, hold uh, back, <clears throat> mostly because the school in Italy it's in great difficulties and they don't have the energy to deal with children that uh, are slower in uh, in learning and they are not slower in learning because they are not <laughs> clever it's because they need a different time timing and a different way of uh, of uh, of uh, teaching the pedagogy must follow 
a different lifestyle that uh, the Italian school don't don't take in consideration. You see. So the situation uh, is not good at all. Also, every time uh, we they we come near political uh, um, votations and this uh, often. Uh, uh, when something something bad or wrong happen that involves uh, Roma people, uh, they would use this as a scary situation to make uh, the Roma people being the guilt of any kind of uh, uh, wrong doing that is happening in the country and so on. So. Uh, there is a lot of discrimination, there is, there is a lot of isolation, even though these uh, immigrants, these Roma immigrants, many of them are here since several generations. They are here maybe third, fourth, fifth generation. They are born in Italy, but uh, depending on where you come from, you have no right for citizenship. So you have these young people that have gone to school, they have somehow uh, uh, reached the, the, uh, the, the legal age, 18, 19, uh, but they still doesn't have, uh, doesn't have the citizenship. Even if they are born here, sometimes they even risk to be uh, ex expelled back to the original country of their grandfathers where they have never been. Uh, I work with, uh, with young people that have never been out of uh, Italy or never been out even of the city of Rome, you see. But still they don't have the right for uh, citizenship and this brings all the other prob problems together, work, school, and uh, relations, social relations. So this is the situation. Uh, what we do, <clears throat> we, we try to help young people, especially young people, because with adults and older people, it's difficult to, to change their mind, to change their usual ways. But young people, children, they are very receptive and they want to experience. They want to know, they want to, they are curious, they want to. And uh, theater and music is very, very good fun, is active, is positive, while it is also educative. So we, uh, while we help uh, them uh, through this uh, activity of theater and music, we don't really want uh, to make uh, them to become artists uh, if they don't desire that. Of course, there is always some most uh, talent, talentous people, they might become musicians or, uh, or uh, theater actors, but this is not the aim. The aim is to, uh, to use theater and music as a tool of uh, of uh, self-consciousness because it helps a lot into theater helps a lot into uh, recognize your personality and uh, build a positive uh, personality music is also very good for that and for uh, uh, working of the mind at the same time um, we try to 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 give them uh, something about their culture that is uh, traditional culture that is lost now in the new generation for example uh, um, traditional fairy tales about roma people uh, they don't know the children don't don't know that um, that uh, that uh, history or music also because uh, there is an, uh, a stereotypic uh, um, idea about Roma musicians for example uh, but now uh, there are no more musicians uh, we, uh, yes some sometimes uh, but in the camps nobody make music 
they put radio or um, stereo music uh, uh, or they if uh, some someone uh, make music uh, it's not traditional so we try also to to refine this um, background for them yeah because there is a, there is a gap because uh, when they have come here uh, the grandfathers they uh, through the generations that that was born in, in Italy you see the 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 young people now they hardly speak romanes they might speak uh, a little bit of the of the language uh, where they come from uh, say serbian or romanian but uh, they don't the the roma language the romanes it's not it's lost as it's lost many other thing of their culture so if you would ask uh, a 15 years old Roma born in the, in the camp, uh, if you would ask him what is Roma, he would not be able to answer. He would not be able to explain how he have come to live in the situation he is. So we work on that too, to make consciousness about the origins, and the consciousness about what situation you are in, why you are in this situation, and what, most important, what you can do to get out of this situation to make a better life of yours. Thank you. <laughs> it's a very important work that you do, and I think it's very useful and necessary in Roma communities. Uh, my last question would be, uh, uh, basically a general one but it's uh, i'm addressing to both of you what are your future plans or goals in your life in your career uh, what what are the things that you uh, you you want to implement or still achieve <laughs> it's a strange moment uh, because you know um there is a little stop now so we we dream uh, some uh, some projects but we have to to wait because uh, you know theater and music is based on contact education about um, with art in general uh, it's uh, based on uh, on real contact body contact and so at the moment uh, we have some problems to to go on but uh, uh, we want to to try to uh, not to lose uh, the relationship with the, with these people, uh, with the children who grow up very very fast. Uh, and uh, there is a moment at 12, 13 years old uh, that it's very hard to continue to have uh, their um, confidence, their uh, um, fiducia, um, confidence. confidence, yes. So they grow up uh, fast, we have to, to work uh, now in the present, uh, as it, if it is possible. Um, to continue with the with the work on on the group uh, and um, to to work on inclusion also. So not uh, only Roma group uh, as we made in the past, uh, but mixing uh, children uh, uh, Roma and not Roma. This is a, this is a dream, uh, not easy, but uh, this is my dream at the moment. Yeah, um, you see, uh, um, when I was invited by the independent theater in Hungary, that was two years ago, and uh, it was, and it has been a difficult uh, uh, two years because uh, situation, political situation, social situation is not getting better. It's not getting better in Italy, it's not getting better anywhere. Even with the European community and its program, 
about, uh, uh, about integration and inclusion of the Roma community in, in the European uh, process of unification, it's not working. They put a lot of money, but money get lost, are lost somewhere that nobody knows. It, it becomes uh, payment for, uh, for uh, uh, bureaucracy, but uh, very, very little arrives actually to the ends, in the hands and in the benefit of the Roma community. So uh, when uh, two years ago I was invited, it was uh, a moment where I, I was giving up. I was kind of tired after 15 years working on trying to make a better conditions on these people and not having any, I say any results, actually things getting worse and worse, I was tired. So when the independent theater invited me, I wrote this play and this play was kind of a, a, a point of, uh, okay, I write this and this is my story. And after this, I don't know if I will continue work on this matter of the Roma inclusion, you see. But now, after meeting the Hungarian people and realizing uh, they have put us in connection with several other countries and realizing that each country has is a, a different situation about the Roma. Actually finding out that in Hungary, many Romas, they go to university. This was a great discovering for us because we could tell the young people here, the young Roma here about that. And that would be a great new for them because most of them, they don't even reach the secondary school. They only do the primary school, you see? Not because they don't want to study, but because they are put in a situation where in the end they reject. They reject and they, they just give up because too much social difference, too much social dist distance and, so, and too much um, yeah, isolation. Um, the, the work that we are doing with the, with the independent theater and the other Roma theater groups uh, in Spain, in Romania, uh, England, Ireland, this have given new hope. This have given new perspective and new uh, possibilities. Before we worked on numbers, in the, we tried to uh, include as many children and youth as possible. We are a little, uh, a little organization, so we could we could work with around 10, 15 children or youth. Uh, every year. Uh, this, what we are doing now, we had to less, less down the number of people. We are working only with a little group of three, four, five, but with a more intense and more deep work. And uh, as they become, they are uh, mostly adolescent and young adults. As they become adults, they are changing also the minds of their fellows, of their peers, of their families. They are bringing the message inside the, their community and they will be able to make the change in the generations to come. Because you see, a situation that has lasted more than thousand years, you cannot change in one or two or 10 years. It will take time, but it needs also a change in the society, in the main society. As long as the main society doesn't change and make a better, better society 
with uh, people having all uh, equality and same rights and uh, to to work against poverty and give people the the minimum uh, ethical uh, help in their lives then the roma situation will not be able to change so it's a work about working yes with the roma community but also work with our society to change thank you so thank you very much for sharing uh, your views your thoughts the challenges you have and thank you for the discussion thank you judith thank you thank you and i have a question <laughs> no but after after thank you and now you can see the performance called children of the wind written by sebastiano spinella and ursula mainardi and performed by sebastiano spinella enjoy the show have good fun yes <laughs>